Hello everyone and welcome back. So I've been building this environment in Odini for a tutorial and in today's video I wanted to show you how I did this trash asset. So nothing too complicated but it might have a few tips for you. So let's dive into this trash and as you can see I have uh, this variation so far. It's not too much, but it's also, since I'm building these from scratch, it takes a little bit of time to do them. So let's see. Since I had this scan from a previous tutorial, I'm reusing it. So it's nothing really complicated, it's just a, a curve with a profile and then revolving. And we will do that in the last asset. But I'm starting with this one and then I quadrimesh it also. So I'm starting with this base. Uh, you can ignore this, since I tried first doing this with Vellum, then I'm doing the UVs by selecting the seams in here, because I have a group of the seams, as you can see, really simple. Um, you can ignore this, then I'm going to do these with RBD to squash the, the can, as you can see. So for that I have the input, then I'm scattering 500 points and doing a simple Voronoi fracture. We get something like this. Then I'm pinning part of these constraints, since this, this, this Voronoi fracture also outputs the constraints, and I'm pinning part of it, so the top, so I can actually show you how that looks like. So I'm pinning those uh, those top points by using the relative point bounding box and I can select more or less. In this case I just want the top part so it doesn't deform. Then RBD configure. Uh, I'm not using this bounding box. Uh, just changing a bit the collision padding in here and the shrink amount. Then I'm converting the constraints to surface points that usually works better. From here I am setting the constraints properties setting to soft and enable the switch constraints to be glue so at the end i want to switch them to glue these are my settings you can increase or decrease these and play with it i don't think plasticity in here is enabled yeah so then on the top can i'm setting those to be uh, soft but quite high as you can see uh, the same for the glue and then I'm just simulating this and switching the constraints at frame 18. So if I simulate this, and of course I have also um, a box crashing the uh, acting as the collider, and it will look something like this. So as you can see, my box is coming down and acting as a collider to crush the the can. So as I told you at frame 18, I'm switching to the art constraints. Then it's simple as using the RBD deform pieces and I can deform the incoming geometry with with the constraints and with the proxy geometry, which in this case will be just the full geometry. Then just time shift it and this is my can. Match size it to have a, a real world size and that's my can. Then moving into the bag, which looks something like this. So this is supposed to be a bag of ships. For that I'm starting with a planner patch. Then plan planner inflate. This is a new node of Odini 20.5. Saving the boundary edges. So these edges in here. Because I'm gonna use it later for UVs. Clipping a bit of the end. As you can see. UV flatten. And I'm using as seems those boundary edges. And we have perfect UVs or close to it then doing a simple vellum cloth and a vellum solver in here that will do something like this effect and inside the vellum solver to have this effect i could have used a pop -a track but in this case i just used the just manipulated here the velocity by getting the bounding box center uh, creating a vector from the bounding box center minus the P, so a vector pointing in. And I added also some zero centered offset noise in here to the position, so I get some sort of random effect, as you can see. So it's not very uniform. Then just multiplying a bit the velocity, so it's not so quick, let's say. So that's basically the effect. Then I have Vellum Post Process, adding some subdivision and also some thickness. Then just time shifted 
and cached. From there I can just place it on the floor, as you can see. So now let's move into the cup. We have two versions, this one and this one. So for this one I'm starting with the tube. Then I have a sphere which I transform into a VDB and I also smooth it a bit and then deform the geometry with that VDB. So in this case, by doing the, a volume sample and a volume gradi gradient and moving the, the position along the gradient multiplied by the SDF and we get this sort of effect. So just like a big deformer or something like that. Then I'm grouping in here um, a center loop just by selecting 12 points out of the, we, the, these 12 points are also the the columns of the tube and I'm selecting that from all the points and then offsetting by in this case the same amount of columns times three I can increase in here which I can select in here which one I want just by offsetting this one then subdividing UV on wrap cylinder which will work fine for this case then in here I'm grouping the unshared points and also saving the boundary groups promoting those two edges then on the first one, I am polyfilling and polybeveling. As you can see, I'm selecting the one of the boundaries. For the other boundary, I'm converting to a line and sweeping. And we get the cup. Then I transform it down, match size it to the correct size in this case, something like that. Then for the second version, I'm object merging the, this mesh. And then with that range that we selected in here, this middle one, I'm just soft transforming that in along an axis and playing with the soft radius, as you can see. Bending a little bit, transforming it to place and match sizing. So that's cut B. So for the container, so the container is something like this, as you can see. And I'm just doing half of it because I'm lazy. So I'm starting with a grid. Inset it a little bit, transforming that in that in extruded front group, poly beveling everything to give that rounded look. Select the unshared edges, poly extruding those unshared edges in a curved way, as you can see, because I'm coming in here and I'm extruding those unshared and setting in this case the shape to be curved. And then I go into Fine control and playing with the magnitude in here, as you can see, and with the with all these uh, these pa parameters. Clipping in half on both axes, so I can subdivide it better. UV flatten, really simple. Just don't need to to give uh, any sort of uh, seams. Subdividing because right now I'm going to create a noise, so I can clip it clip by attributes that specific noise as you can see so in here just come and clip it to have some some of these holes poly extruding to have some thickness and also i'm poly reducing because i don't need those many polygons i just wanted that to to have enough geometry for the enough subdivisions for the noise to work match sizing and that's my container i also have in here an experimental con second version which is by merging in the single sided geometry then remeshing sculpt it a bit with the flatten brush and with the move brush to have this sort of result and subdividing and doing a mesh sharpen to start to have this crumbled look then i do another attribute blur set to proximity which is very similar to the mesh sharpen and from there i can I don't want this sort of geometry at the end because it's too broken and cursed. So I'm going to remesh it, measure the curvature to get those sharp edges. And from here, <clears throat> I can create a target mesh size so I can remesh it by attribute. As you can see, set it to adaptive. And in the target mesh size, I'm just decreasing the value of those convex areas. Uh, convex areas, yeah and then reprojecting it to the original version. This doesn't do much, but then I do a small mesh, sharp, mesh sharpen and soften normals and calculate the UVs again, and then just transforming it in place. And we get something like this. 
so not very successful but anyways so the last one is the bottle and here i just started with the curve resample it selecting one of the points and this will become handy in a later stage then revolving fusing top transform to squash it a bit so i'm just selecting that group as you can see that group that expanded so if i go into points as you can see this group in here expanded to this loop then i'm i'm doing the soft transform and skeleting along the z i could play with the soft radius and do a bit more then i'm group expanding so i can promote it to primitives and blast the label that i can pick a little bit merge it and subdivide it and we should have the label in here as you can see maybe hard to see i should give it a color from here just transforming it down and this is the bottle so a lot of work and we get something like this which in the environment it should I when I scatter it around it should look something like this so let me know if you guys want me to cover this environment uh, on the next video I might start a new series and yeah if you want to grab the files from this video the trash setup you can do so on my patreon alongside with exclusive tutorials uh, hours of exclusive tutorials and all the project files from my videos please let me know your thoughts in the comments and other than that thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you